This is a continuation of the Dumbo story from Love Bug Productions. Productions. Here we go. Now, we left off, and I guess Dumbo and the friend found some way to get to the circus, and the train was going <coughs> to do it for them. Miss Dumbo was very happy when she <coughs> heard the news. So she told all the animals, follow me. She called to the other animals, I will lead you to the ship. So now they're getting on the ship, that's the way they're going to get there, to the circus. Miss Jumbo walked across the little bridge. She was so fat that it almost broke in two. Uh-oh. The giraffe grabbed the rail with his long legs. The bear swung over the big hook. The rhino tried to climb through the lifesaver. Look out, everybody. Here comes Tiger Jim on a rope. If he isn't careful, a flying fox will hit him. Glad to see you, said the captain. Please feel right at home here. The monkeys felt right at home. They were swinging on the light fixture. They started swinging from the lights. Miss Jumbo went to her room. Oh my, she said. That bed looks like small, a little too small for me. I had better see if it fits. And up the ladder she went, uh-oh. Crash! Mrs. Jumbo landed on the floor. The bed was certainly too small. Harry Hippo wanted to go upstairs. The stairs were tiny. He was very big. His friends had to push and push. <clears throat> Wham! They pushed a little too hard. Harry crashed through the door and banged into the poor captain. And the captain's face color turned from regular color, which is white, to about a pink. The captain fell through the steering wheel and hit the table. The captain was very, very angry. Pack your bags, he shouted. I will not take you to this circuit any farther. Get off my ship. Uh-oh. Now how are they going to get to where they need to be? To the circus. Dumbo and Timothy flew away from the ship as fast as they could. Now they had to find another way to get to Boston. So now they couldn't take a train and now they couldn't take a boat 